Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the weekly show. It's so good to be back here with all of you today. And thank you again for all your comments, your questions, show suggestions. Uh, and oh, so many of your questions and, and, and all the things you're submitting, your suggestions are very aligned with what many of my families and my students that I've worked with now and for so many years ask me. And they give me a great uh, GPS and, and, and really uh, guide me into what, which way to go in my shows and topics to cover uh, because I am seeing increasingly what colleges are looking for and, uh, and medical schools and uh, many of your questions mirror that. So we're going to get onto an important topic today about artificial intelligence and bias auditing. Now, artificial intelligence is emerging in our society as a staple. It is everywhere. The supermarket, it is uh, and almost um, and so many of the major systems uh, we use, and it is becoming more and more prevalent in hiring, law enforcement, and colleges, especially top colleges, see themselves at the forefront of society, and especially when it comes to artificial intelligence, see themselves as mitigating forces against anything that can be adverse, uh, can be an adverse effect of artificial intelligence, because it is a fantastic field, but like anything, it can have uh, excesses that can spill over into society and have negative effects. So, and I'm often at trying to give my students and college applicants things they can study, especially early on in high school, that can give them an edge, uh, showing they've done research on a topic, that they care about a topic, that they're interested in a topic heavily, especially one that is aligned with the future and one that colleges themselves are, are trying to tackle and are very interested and are very interested in. And the topic today we're going to talk about is bias auditing. Bias auditing in artificial intelligence. So bias auditing is the process of reviewing and testing AI systems, all AI systems for fairness, for accuracy, for unintended harm. Uh, and, and there was a recent report uh, published in major publications uh, by the government that found there was potential bias uh, in, in, in a GAO report uh, in the IRS systems uh, for contributing, for auditing, contributing to disparities in the way audits were done against certain ethnic groups or racial groups or last names. And this wasn't done intentionally, but sometimes if a system is outdated and none of its data inputs were examined, bias can definitely show up. And it is the job of bias auditors to make sure that any AI system by any company or any law enforcement system or any governmental system does not have bias embedded into it, okay? And it is an emerging topic because it ties into ethics in AI. Uh, many people have worried about, and you listening may worry about, where can AI take us? Is it gonna replace people's jobs? More importantly, what ethical implications does AI have? And colleges, top schools are on the forefront of these questions and constantly on the forefront of developing systems, not just to develop artificial intelligence, but to also develop systems to, to audit artificial intelligence systems for bias, okay? So it's, it's AI, it, this is where artificial intelligence intersects with ethics, and, uh, it, and again, uh, bias auditing ensure, ensures that AI systems are equitable, fair, and this, again, carries over to all areas, including healthcare, as I mentioned, uh, the IRS and tax auditing and law enforcement, okay? So who does bias auditing, data scientists, AI ethicists, third-party auditors, companies hire sometimes to make sure. Also major companies uh, like Google, Amazon perform uh, bias auditing internally. They wanna make sure their systems are not biased and they, and they take feedback from users often to try and make sure that their systems are not biased. Most of it, if not all of it, is unintended. And they, uh, academic institutions often do this as well also in their application processes. So I want to encourage students listening who aspire to go into computer science. One, you should definitely early in your high school career at any time really start examining, become interested and understand the power and how important it is, how important bias auditing is in artificial intelligence systems, especially as it emerges more and more. Okay, this can make you as an applicant stand out in your application. The fact that you're concerned about it, it can show you as someone who is forward thinking, you're socially aware, you're, you're interdisciplinarily minded. These are the things that colleges love 
to see in their applicants that you're not just a computer science aspirant or a computer science interested person that has a very narrow focus. You see it's interdisciplinary focus, it's, inter it's interdisciplinary connection to other fields. As a matter of fact, some of the top honors programs like Purdue Honors, which is Purdue is a very good computer science school. In its essay for the honors program, they asked students to help ex to explain how they understand their aspiring field, such as computer science, to be interconnected to other fields. And this is a great thing to talk about, uh, how computer science is interconnected with ethics uh, and other issues related to it, including bias, and how bias auditing uh, can be a great way to show that you understand, showing your understanding of bias auditing, that you understand how computer science is interconnected to other fields, okay? So, uh, and this can, many, one of my students recently who got into Purdue Honors wrote about his interest in facial recognition technology. He had talked about how he knew someone that uh, was a, uh, was wrongly targeted for something due to facial recognition technology, was uh, the, the system that was used to wrongly focus on him, on his friend, really inspired him to want to correct systems that wrongly biased against people through facial recognition deficiencies. So that is an example where an, a bias audit can be used to look for problems in any artificial intelligence system. And that's my particular student who got into Purdue Honors wrote about this. One of my other students who got into Carnegie Mellon last year who was very interested in bias auditing and I had urged him early in his high school career to start researching it uh, Google has a tool called What If. It's a What If tool. It's an amazing tool. Um, and Microsoft has something called FairLearn. And both of these uh, try to mitigate uh, bias in AI. He had done so much research uh, on these tools on Google, on, 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 on the What If uh, tool that Google has. Uh, and just that Carnegie Mellon, I could see that he was interested in that, was right along with Carnegie Mellon and other schools concern for society. Colleges, top colleges do not just want to be uh, academic and educating institutions. They want to be on the, at the forefront of social change and they want to see students that want to join that trend and be on the forefront of social change, graduate, have Carnegie Mellon or their, uh, or their name on their resume and do something amazing in the world. They want to see that you already have a running start on, these, on, on uh, understanding of how computer science and ethics and artificial intelligence are, are interconnected and how they can be, how better understanding them can help uh, improve society and prevent bias and prevent big problems in society. So this is a great thing for, for so many of you to understand, okay? Um, and it's a way, again, for those of you that wanna be programmers, especially listening, it's really just gonna show that you're more than just a programming aspirant, you're more than just a programmer, you're a critical thinker, you're a big picture thinker. So we're again, we're talking about bias auditing the field as it intersects with artificial intelligence and ethics. Uh, bias auditing is an expression of ethics uh, and artificial, of, of applying ethics to artificial intelligence. And again, we're talking about how you learning about uh, bias auditing can be a great advantage when applying to college, especially as a computer science aspirant or really any uh, major, even a medical aspirant, a medical applicant talking about bias auditing in healthcare systems can be a very, uh, can be a very big advantage. So this goes for computer science aspirants, as I mentioned, medical aspirants, and so many other fields, even business aspirants can talk about bias auditing in systems of, they want to be involved in, uh, in online businesses and understanding how uh, bias auditing is gonna be important for the systems they develop and, and or are working with, very important. So any major can do a research project, can take online classes in bias auditing, and it will show a great concern for society's well-being, okay? And it's really showing something very important to colleges is equity, fairness, and bringing in students that have an ethical implication, have ethical inclinations, at inclinations towards fairness, very important. Okay. So when colleges are looking for their applicants, they don't just want students that are ambitious, they want students who are also inspired, inspired to make a difference in society. So a fusion of inspiration and ambition is what I've seen with top colleges, what they're looking for. And again, one of the ways to show it is to get concerned about research, issues like bias auditing, 
uh, because it will show that you see yourself in any major, any fields you want to go into as wanting to see your field as a conduit for social change, okay? So one way, when we talk about how you can explore bias auditing, we're talking about you could take online courses in bias auditing. There's pre-college AI programs uh, in the summer you can take, even during the school year, but during the summer, absolutely, many top colleges have them. Uh, you could use public databases uh, such as Kaggle, amazing way to learn about uh, bias auditing, AI, and ethics, okay? And I will mention, uh, every one of my students the past year, past 20 years, that I've seen get into top schools such as MIT, Car Carnegie Mellon, all Ivy League schools, they, even top liberal arts schools such as Swarthmore, they have shown an interest in uh, ethics and understanding how society can be improved through their field. So uh, bias auditing, again, is a great way for you to demonstrate this. Those of you listening, if you're not working with me, if you're on your own, uh, when you write your college essays, your supplemental essays, and, then, and colleges such as University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, ask students, what is a topic you are passionate about? Now, they're not, you can't, if you're doing this as a senior, you, you really want to uh, demonstrate, you know, you want to show a track record that if you say you're interested in bias auditing, you want to show a track record over two to three years that you've researched and have done things to learn more about bias auditing. And you want, and colleges will ask students in their supplemental essays a topic that just fascinates them, something they want to learn more about. And this is a great thing to mention bias auditing because you can talk about how you uh, see yourself as a force for change with your major, uh, such as computer science, programming, or any field as I mentioned, okay? So, uh, you know, you, you want to mention how you see um, that you don't just see artificial intelligence. Of course, it's a good thing for the world. It's helped a lot of people. Recently, there was a report that uh, one of the AI systems, I think it was ChatGPT, had outperformed primary care doctors at a hospital in diagnosing illnesses, which is pretty amazing. But like anything in life that, or any form of technology used without responsibility, it can be damaging, hurt people, uh, be discriminatory, unintentionally, of course, and it's up to, this is why technology needs the human infusion and touch. Without the human touch, without the human concern for empathy and the effect on humans, uh, great things like artificial intelligence can have very negative consequences, okay? So those of you listening, students, do your best if you're interested in programming and artificial intelligence to show in your college applications that you've done, that you understand the ethical implications of artificial intelligence, of unmitigated, of unmitigated artificial intelligence, and you see bias auditing as a tool to uh, stop any unmitigated forces and to mitigate, to mitigate all unintended effects. Okay. I hope today was helpful for all of you. Again, this is a great topic. We talked today about bias auditing, how it's a great way for you as an applicant to uh, show on your applications that you're concerned about, that you love artificial intelligence, but you want to do whatever you can through your career and your studies to help prevent any unintended harmful effects. Great to be here with all of you today. I hope it was helpful, and I look forward to being with you all soon. If you have any questions, feel free to email us. If you, many of you have been asking about having your child or yourself work with me for college applications or medical school. Uh, you can leave a comment. You can contact us at www.educationandinspiration.com. Uh, you can go on our website and email us or fill out a contact form. We will get in touch with you. Great to be here with all of you, everybody. Have a fantastic day.